Greetings WordPress bloggers. Welcome to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I will be testing out the broken link checker. It is a totally free plugin and I'll leave a link to this page here for you guys to check it out and download it. And basically this plugin will monitor all of your internal links and external links and we'll look for the broken links so you can fix them and improve your SEO and also visitor experience. And also some key features I really like is that it will automatically monitor your links and also email you or notify you when it finds a broken link. And it can even automatically prevent search engines from following the link so it can save you from uh, potentially any negative SEO uh, that may hurt your website. Okay, so let's install this plugin and see how it works. And you can install this directly from your WP admin dashboard. Under the plugins menu, click on add new and then search for broken link checker right here. And you can find it at the top left, broken link checker. Click on install now. And there are a few different versions. Make sure you're getting the one from WPMU, uh, the one with 700,000 active installations. Okay, once it's done installing, click on activate. When you activate the plugin, it's already working for you. As you can see, it already found two broken links on my website here. And you can access the broken link checker panel from the settings menu here. Then click on link checker. And this is it right here. And at the top, you can see the status is looking for broken links right away. And here's the queue list. It's running right now and there's a total of 1,209 links and you can make a check every 72 hours or however long you want. Email notification about newly detected broken links and by default the, no the notification email will go to whatever the admin WordPress email is otherwise you can enter something different right here. And I recommend checking this right here. Stop search engines from following broken links until you fix it. So that's probably something good to check. And by default, these are checked right here. And if you want to check for YouTube links, if you have a lot of YouTube videos or links to YouTube, you can also add in a YouTube API key here. And okay, let's save changes. And there are some other tabs here you can check out so you really don't need to do anything else but anyhow let's go back to the general this is the key feature right here so it found five broken links let's click on that and see how it looks alrighty so we got here the broken links list that it found so far that was pretty fast actually this is actually something I just added in the last five minutes just to see if the, the broken link plugin works and it does. So these are links I just manually added to a random post right here. So if I remove it, so these are the links right here. So I set these two links to non-existent pages. So let's say if I unlink it and then also unlink this one. Okay, so I unlink those two. So now if I refresh, uh, this page, the post editor for this particular post, the links should be gone. Okay, the links are gone, the two links I added. So the broken links are no longer valid. And these other ones, I would need to take a look at and fix it uh, myself. But let's check out what the warnings are. Okay, so now I see why you need the YouTube API because by checking too many YouTube links, uh, the YouTube website or server is going to block your IP address from checking these video links too quickly. So if you do have a lot of YouTube videos on your website, make sure you add in the API key. Alrighty, that's all for this video. I hope you find it helpful. Thanks so much for viewing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster, for more WordPress tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again, and until next time, happy blogging.